Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, or should I say, good crafternoon. Hello, how are you doing on this hot, warm summer day here in, uh, at least in Minnesota, in the USA? It is hot and summery. I see we have some friends tuning in from Australia. Hello, I bet it's considerably cooler there because you're just going into win winter time. Jennifer has her cardstock and designer paper ready to go and is all ready to craft. So welcome everyone. My name is Susan Campfield. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Uh, you might be joining me here on my Sue Stampfield YouTube channel, or you might be over on Facebook. I have a uh, Facebook page, Susan Campfield Independent Demonstrator Facebook page, and I'm live there. I'm also live in my group, my Sue Stampfield Paper Crafting Group. Anyone is welcome to join that Facebook group. We hang out, we talk paper crafts and everything else and recipes and all sorts of things. Uh, shared some uh, fun things with uh, my, the tea party I had with my mom last week to celebrate uh, um, the Platinum Jubilee for Queen Elizabeth. So I uh, had a recipe on there as well. So today we're going to be making um, a project. So uh, every month I have an event called Crafter Noon. And anyone who places an order with me the month prior receives a packet in the mail to make the Crafter Noon make and take project. So this is a fun fold that I have designed. And um, We'll make this one together, and then I've made some alternate versions of the fun fold that will be part of the tutorial bundle. Again, those who placed a qualifying order last month, which is $50 or more, receive the packet, and they also get the tutorial bundle for free. Um, I also sell the tutorial bundle. It will be available later this week. Um, it's $10, and you get all the projects. So um, it <laughs> I... I, I like a detailed tutorial. I am a visual learner and I like pictures. I'm, I can read a description, but it doesn't always tell me enough. So I do add a lot of photos step-by-step -step to my tutorials. So they're not fast for me to do. It takes me about um, half a day to do one. Um, and so there is a little delay before those come out. So thank you for your patience on that. The best way to find out when the tutorial bundle is available or just even to see the photos of all the cards is when my blog post goes up. And so you can subscribe to my blog. Let me get you that address right here. Go to suestanfield.com and click on subscribe and it will give you a choice. It'll ask you if you want to subscribe to my free weekly project sheets. You do. You really do. I will also have the uh, recap of this video in that project sheet email along with the projects. Um, or it'll ask if you want to subscribe to my blog. And the blog is where the tutorial bundle will be available from and all that, all of those things. So suestanfield.com, click on subscribe. Anyone is welcome to subscribe to those project sheets or to my blog, of course. So Thank you all for hanging out with me on this uh, warm. So here in Minnesota, it is 97 degrees right now. We are supposed to hit 100 today, which is very unusual for us up here in the, the frozen tundra. So, um, oh, thank you, Ray. Um, yes. And my team members, uh, team members received an email with a list of all of the sizes for this um, so they could cut the cardstock and, and craft along with me. Um, so those of you who had time to do that, great. If you're catching the replay, also works. So um, in fact, if you are a replay warrior, <laughs> drop me a comment. Let me know you're catching the replay. I love to know who's watching later. So 6 a.m. on Tuesday in Queensland. It's already tomorrow there in Queensland, Australia, which reminds me, uh, I wanted to, to mention that tomorrow, <laughs> Tuesday, June 21st, Stampin' Up! is offering a free shipping special. Um, so if you have items on your wish list, if your order is over $75, 
you don't pay a single penny for shipping. How awesome is that? So I know I have some things I will be ordering tomorrow. So I just wanted to give you a shout out. If you're in Australia, it's already Tuesday and you get free shipping today. So how awesome is that? All right, let's go ahead and get uh, started here. Mary, you're going to watch live and then you're going to catch the replay and craft along. Perfect. That is perfect. I sometimes I like to do that. I like to watch it first and then make it. So uh, whatever you prefer is, is great. So let's go down to the desk camera and let's let the fun begin. I'm going to go ahead and do 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 uh, all the technology here. <laughs> let's switch cameras. I'm super kind of greenish and yellow today. That's really weird. I think it's because I have my blinds open and there are a lot of trees and greenery in my backyard and I'm kind of reflecting greenish today. Kind of weird, but all right. So craft or noon. Let's talk crafter known. So last month, if you recall, that we had a whole slew of fun cards. Um, we did, let me show the, the landscape version. We did the crisscross floating message card. And so this tutorial bundle is available to purchase. There's a few versions of that. So that was last month. And this month's crafter noon is a kind of a, well, how can I say this? So in January, I want to show you the card we did in January because I am doing a different version of that for today's um, fun fold, for this month's fun fold. So in January, we did this freestanding fun fold card right here. Super uh, simple, but really fun because the participant, now hold on everybody, I'm going to rotate you. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I hope I'm not making you seasick. Oh, wait, I got to brush all the little bits <laughs> so that it looks like my desk is clean, even though it is not remotely clean. Okay, does that look better? All right, <clears throat> pretend you didn't see that. All right, so the recipient can then display the card on their desk or wherever. Um, this one was supposed to have some designer paper there. Obviously, never finished that one. Let's get one that is a little more finished. So this one, so it opened up like this and there's designer paper on the inside. We've got some decoration over here. And so that was great, but it was only, could only be done in a landscape version. So I wanted to do that same fold. Let me see, where's another one I can show you. I really love the tulip paper, by the way, last chance uh, to get the flowering fields designer series paper, uh, unless it's sold out already. I'm not sure if it has, um, because we're a last chance right now for the January through June mini catalog. Um, so I had a lot of fun with this one, but I was a little limited because it was the landscape version, right? So I decided to redesign this card and do it in a portrait version or a vertical version. So, oh, it's sizzling over at Eden Prairie. <laughs> yeah, it's sizzling kind of everywhere in Minnesota right now, isn't it? So that was Monday, that was the January afternoon, and that was a huge hit. You guys loved that one. And I did too, because it's it to me, it's everything I want in a fun fold, right? It is um, you know, easy to do, not super duper hard, but looks really fancy and it displays really nicely. So we're going to do, oh, thank you, Jennifer. I always forget to remove the banner and then you can't see stuff. There we go. Banner's gone. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't blocking too much. Thanks for reminding me that, Jennifer. I appreciate that. So um, we're going to, um, we're going to do a version today. Uh, I've, I've, it was, I thought it'd be super easy to adapt that card to vertical. Not so much because there was a lot of math involved, but I, I worked it out. You guys, I worked it out for you because you are worth it. So I'm going to show you the card that we're making. This is the make and take packet that uh, people who placed a qualifying order received. And this is the card we're going to walk through today. And then I made some alternate versions that I'll be sharing with you later on in this video. So I use the Abigail, Ella, Abigail Rose, Abigail Rose suite of products, which is the Cottage Rose bundle. Um, and I'm gonna flip this up for a moment so you can see what it looks like when it's open. Hopefully that make you see sick. Kind of going on a roller coaster ride today, aren't we? So the recipient can open up the card 
and stand it up. Of course, you're going to have your handwritten note in here or your message, whatever. And it stands up and you can see it's it's vertical. So it gives you more room for longer, taller images uh, to fit on the card. If you have things that are very wide, you're going to want to go with the uh, the regular freestanding fold. But if you have things that are taller, the vertical one is really a great option. So I absolutely love this. Let me swoo and let's go back down. There we go. I absolutely love this gorgeous paper. Um, it, it's in neutrals. And I know that's a little bit different for some of us. Uh, one of uh, my Instagram followers today said, you know, I don't use neutrals that much and I, I, I want to use them more and this is a perfect way to do it. So we're going to make this card right now. So those of you that participated, um, that placed an order last month, you received a packet from me in the mail. And so let's open that up and get out all of our goodies team members, if you uh, cut your supplies based on the email I sent, you're not going to have these decorative pieces uh, because I figured you could do that part later. <laughs> right now, I just wanted you to get the fold down. So we've got lots of goodies. So I'm going to set these aside. You get two of these. You get this piece, these gorgeous Oh, the dies in the set. So this is the Cottage Rose Bundle, which is part of the Abigail Suite. And it's got all of these super fun detailed um, dies that cut these delicate kind of lacy uh, images. These I cut out of gold foil. They're just perfect to embellish your card. I mean, you can embellishing doesn't necessarily mean a, a rhinestone or a pearl. It can also mean just a pretty die cut image. So all right, let's pull apart our pieces. You're going to have lots of duplicates because the way this card is designed, you, you have lots of opportunities for um, decorating the paper, which is so fun. And then uh, this is all the Abigail Rose paper here. That's where all these pieces came from, as did this guy right here. So that's for the front. All right, so let's back it out here and let's start with our card base, okay? Okay. I am going to show you the score lines. So I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. Pull that off because that might be confusing. So my cardstock is off screen. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully you can see that. My camera is wanting to wiggle today. Wiggly, wiggly camera. All right. So my cardstock for my card base is eight inches by five and a half inches. And I have scored it again. That's eight inches by five and a half inches. And I have scored my cardstock at one and a half, two and three quarters. This is already scored, so I'm not scoring it, but just showing you where I did. So uh, again, one and a half, two and three quarters, five and a quarter and then six and a half. Those are the score marks for the part of our card that opens and stands up. You can see the way that it's folded is done so that it gives it a, a you know, it makes it kind of a built-in display stand, if you will. All right, so I'm gonna slide that away. And let's bring this back in. So I find it easiest to actually start with the backer piece. This piece is going to go behind that part that opens, but it's got some little bits of designer series paper on it. So we're going to go ahead and put those on first. These are three fourths inch by five and a quarter inches. And so you're just going to want to take your adhesive of choice and put some adhesive on the back of this strip of paper. I probably should have done a little recap on what supplies you need, but the really basic supplies. You need some adhesive, you need some glue dots, you need some dimensionals. I think that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other three-fourths inch by five and a quarter inch piece. Put some adhesive on that. And when I lay it on here, I'm doing it so that there's the same around the top, the side and the bottom, the same amount of border. If that makes sense, this part's all going to be covered up. So that doesn't matter. 
So we just started with our two skinniest pieces of designer paper and adhered those to our card base or the base that goes behind here. So I'm gonna set that aside for now. I find it a little bit easier to put the inside pieces in before I start attaching anything. It, it, it doesn't matter, you could do it either way, but I'm going to attach these pieces inside here. There'll be a panel on each side. This panel is one inch by five and a quarter, and I have two of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my adhesive on the back. I'm just gonna stop here for a second and, oh, Nancy, yay, I'm glad you got your packet. And I'm so glad this is your first time doing Crafter Noon. So I'm gonna um, just keep going here. Let me know if I'm going too fast. Um, this replay will be available immediately when I end. So if you miss anything, um, or if you're deciding to just watch it all first and then put your card together on the replay when you can stop it, um, totally fine. <laughs> I have a, some adhesive that is not being very, very cooperative today. I'm finding all of my adhesives today are very sticky because it's so warm out. All right, so I'm going to adhere this. So I'm not adhering it on this panel. I'm adhering it on the second panel. Okay, so I'm not adhering this one here. I'm adhering it on the second one uh, from the left, and this one is the second one in from the right. Now, of course, at this point, if you wanted to, to um, stamp a message in here, you could do that now. You could also do it later. Totally up to you. All right, so we have another piece of designer paper because let's face it, Ladies, we all have a lot of designer paper. Or if there are any gentlemen watching, ladies and gentlemen, I know you guys are like me and we have loads of designer series paper. Um, oh, Mary, the backing piece. Good question. I don't believe I shared that. It is your standard five and a half by four and a quarter. Thank you for asking. Um, and then this piece is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And it is going to go right here on the far right on the first panel. So let's get some adhesive on the back of that. And again, all of these dimensions along with step-by-step -step instructions will be in the tutorial for all of the cards. Of course, if you're working with paper that is directional, you might want to take a minute to make sure you've got it going the right direction before you stick it on. Um, totally up to you. To me, these are random. I mean, I suppose I could have done that the other way. Um, but they're, they're this one I actually cut, I think, sideways. So it, it really doesn't matter. I don't think when you open it up, you say, oh, the flowers are upside down. This one, it's just kind of sprinkly flowers, if that makes sense. So, uh, but if you're working with paper that is directional, you want to pay attention to that when you adhere it on. So just to do a little recap, this is the part of the card that is kind of our mechanism. It's sort of the built-in stand for the card. And we have um, adhered it, our inside pieces there. Let's talk a minute because perhaps you're, you're making this and your paper is not already creased. Um, like my team members that are doing this right now. So I want to talk to you just a minute on how this is folded. So those of you that got the packet, I already had it folded for you. But you take this side, the first two panels, and fold it over and give it, give it a good crease. Okay? And then you fold back the first panel and crease it so that it gives you an accordion fold. And then you do the same thing on this side. You fold these two in, that's both panels, and then you fold that one back so that it is also an accordion. I hope, let me know if that makes sense. All right. Oh, hey, Brenda. <laughs> So um, we're going to now attach this panel to our, um, to our card base, okay? And we're going to go ahead and do I want to do that yet? Let me think about that for a second. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. So uh, you could actually also do your decorations first here. 
it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go ahead and adhere that. I'm going to add some adhesive. I have a gooey ball of adhesive inside my case, <laughs> which is causing problems. I'm going to get that out of there. All right. Let's see if we want to straighten up and fly right. Oh, that's so much better. So I don't know if you noticed that I was getting little strings and that usually means there's a blob of adhesive that's coming up the works. All right, so I've got a lot of sticky stuff on here and I want to adhere this to my card base. Now, before you adhere it, you do want to center it so that you can see about the same amount of designer paper on each side, but you also want to line it up with the bottom of the card. It doesn't matter if it sticks up a little bit over the top, but you want the bottom to be nice and flush so that it stands up nicely. So I line up the bottom and then I press. And if it sticks up a little bit over the top, no big deal, right? That's not going to um, cause any trouble. But you can see how now it gets even more stable because we've got that built-in stand. And we've got this piece that's kind of a, an extra part of that stand that's helping it stay up and be really stable. I turned that upside down. Sorry, I hope that wasn't confusing you. <laughs> okay, so turn it back around. It should look like this now, okay? All right. Give you just a minute to catch up here. It's 102 in Blaine. Holy cow, Julie. It's only 99 over here and the other just, and we're just 20 minutes away from you. All right. So now we're going to adhere another panel. Uh, by the way, I'm using crumb cake here for everything. This panel is going to go over the top. It's going to kind of hide that stand and that mechanism. And it's going to cover up some of our designer paper. But don't worry, when our card is open and standing, that is going to show. Uh, but right now it's going to look like part of it gets covered up. This piece we're also going to want to adhere flush to the bottom, but this piece we only want to stick it to the left side. If we put adhesive on both sides, we will glue our card shut. And that is not our goal, right? So I'm going to pull this piece off. This piece, mm, this piece, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Top layer. Okay, this piece is three and a half by five and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive here, 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 and here. Okay, so I've got my bits of adhesive. I'm going to kind of push that flat with my hand. I'm going to line up the bottom of that panel with the bottom of the card. Again, I want this to uh, be able to stand nicely. So I want the bottom to be nice and flush. Okay, so just double checking. Okay, whew, I only take I only adhered it to this side. It does. Um, it, it doesn't evenly match the side. It's a little bit wider. And that's intentional. So don't don't get distracted by that. It also if your two panels didn't quite meet in the middle when they were folded together, doesn't matter. Nobody ever sees that. This piece covers that up. So don't ever get hung up worrying about whether they're perfectly aligned in the center because it's not going to show. All right. So next up, the fun part, we get to decorate our card, right? So this is the, the basics of the, the card base and how that works. Now we're going to do our decorating. So I have a piece of where is it? Here it is. A little ball of adhesive on my desk, which is bugging me. All right, so let's grab our paper. And we're going to do a little bit of coloring. And I mean a very little bit of coloring. Now, those of you that got your packet, I did the coloring for you. So this one comes with the, the white uh, flowers not colored in. And we're going to do what, what is called spotlighting. And that's where you just color one image on the card. Now, it depends on your paper where your, your <laughs> which image got colored. Um, like this one, this was a little bit lower. Um, this one, I colored this one. It doesn't really matter. You can, you know... Um, Pick the one that you like, but the way the card is laid out, you want to make sure it's going to show. Whoops, I just uh, 
bent my flowers. Um, you're going to want to make sure it shows. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one right here and I'm going to color it with Stampin' Blends. You could also use the regular Stampin' Write markers. You can use watercolor pencils. You could use pastels. You could use a, a myriad of things. You could use a blender pen dipped in the, the an ink refill. Um, lots of options here. I'm going to go with the one that's easiest to me, and that's the Stampin' Blends. So I've got the light petal pink here, and I'm just going to quickly color the whole base of the flower. And then I'm going to go back in with the darker. The blends come as a two pack. You get a light and a dark in every pack. And this is that petal pink color. This piece of designer paper, it is so pretty, right? Um, this designer paper is three by five. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to just do a little bit of uh, highlighting with the darker color. This is going to give a little bit of shading to the flower. Real flowers aren't one solid color. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm kind of using the, the lines, the shading lines that are drawn on this um, as the, as a guide as to where I want to add a little bit of color. Now, normally with blends, you would add your darker color and go back in and blend it out. I didn't even do that. I didn't really even feel like I needed to. You can if you feel like you need it, but I didn't really feel like it needed to. Partially because this is such, this is designer paper, so it's a lot thinner and it flows really nicely. So I have my flower colored in with petal pink and let's set this aside. The reason I put that paper down is, I don't know if you can see that, it does kind of bleed through a little bit. So you want to protect your work surface and that just, that's how they are made. That's you're doing it right. If it, that happens. So I'm going to add my adhesive here to my three by five inch piece of designer series paper. And I'm going to adhere that onto a piece of early espresso that is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And I'm going to adhere that to our panel on the front of the card. Add that. So I'm going a little fast here. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you. I'm trying to stay cool, Kathy, but my uh, my, my craft room is on the second level, uh, faces south, and it gets warm in here. But I've got a ceiling fan, and that really makes a huge difference. So so far, so good. All right, so we've got that adhered on, and now we're going to do our decorating. So um, I cut two banners with the Stylish Shapes dies. I am absolutely loving these dies. I'm using them just a ton. I, I think I'm just going to have to keep them on my desk because I'm using them all the time, especially the banners. I love the banners. Um, so I have two of them, and we're going to stamp greetings. Now, um, I'm having an... Uh, um, <laughs> I'm having ink issues today. I have more ink on my fingers today than I think I've ever had. Um, so Susan's not allowed to touch an ink pad today on a live video because I will make a mess of it. So I pre-stamped my images ahead of time for my version of the card. I went with this gorgeous best wishes. I love this font, the big bold best with the the um, kind of handwritten uh, font on the wishes is so cool. And then I'm making this a feel better real soon because it's always nice to have a, a get well card. So I also have this remaining piece of designer series paper. Now this is the same side as uh, the same design as the flowers that blah, blah, blah. the same pattern, the flowers are on the other side. I'm just flipping it over and using this kind of a petal pink ticking stripe uh, for my card. And we're going to we're going to adhere that flat to the card. Make myself an iced tea. Oh, good idea, Pat Stewart. Actually have a picture in the fridge. Yesterday was Father's Day and my husband loves iced tea. So I made him I brewed up a batch uh, with some some good black uh, British blend tea and made him a pitcher of iced tea. So I've got my um, kind of ticking stripe adhered there. And I'm going to add the best wishes. Um, I'm just realizing that I forgot something. So <laughs> um, I hope yours isn't stuck down very much. 
If not, we can work. I'm just peeling up the corner because I want to just tuck in this delicate flower. Now you could also tack this down. Um, you can see on the one I kind of caught it. You could put a glue dot behind here or dab some glue on. I kind of like it loose, so I'm actually going to live dangerously and leave it loose because I think that's really pretty. And then I'm going to add two dimensionals to the back of the... Oh, good point. Mary is, is reminding us that if you need to pull up that corner um, to tuck in your, uh, your bits there, you can heat it with... Uh, well, you can put it in the window today here in Minnesota or heat it with a heat tool to get that adhesive to loosen up. I had not had that down more than a second, so I was able to get that up easily, thank goodness. So I'm gonna grab a couple dimensionals here, and I'm gonna stick those on. Now you absolutely can put a glue dot on the, on the end of this uh, flower and stick that on your paper. So let's go ahead. Let me put the greeting right side up. That might be nice. <laughs> All right. And of course you would just put any greeting you, you have that fits on that banner. And if you don't have a greeting that fits on that banner, you can just cut a piece of paper, a piece of cardstock and uh, that fits whatever greeting you want, right? And do, do your own thing there. So I am also gonna add a little bit of decoration right here on this panel. And that is this fun, delicate two, two uh, stemmed flower. This one I am going to stick on with a glue dot. These are my ultra squishy glue dots today. They, <laughs> they have melted in the sun and uh, kind of a gluey mess, but that's all right. So I'm gonna put it, it's a, I'm putting it a little higher than halfway up. Totally up to you on where you wanna stick it there. And I've got my flowers adhered. They kind of disappear, but then when they catch the light, they're just gorgeous. So. I just love the delicate look of those. And then we have our feel better real soon sentiment, and that is going to go right over the top. However, this sentiment is going to hang over the edge. It's going to extend into the card. So if I put adhesive all over it, again, I will glue my card shut. So I'm only going to add adhesive on one half of the back, the back that is going to be here. So I'm putting it behind the word better <laughs> and not anywhere else. Okay, and then we're just gonna pop that on. You could also use uh, glue dots for this. That would be just grand. All right, so we're gonna stick that on and then that extends out like that. Isn't that fun? So it just gives you a, um, Everything wants to roll here. <laughs> and that is our card. So again, if you wanted to, now you would be like, oh, how do I write in there? This is getting in my way. No worries, super easy. See, look at that. It just flips behind and lays flat so that you can write your message or stamp a greeting or whatever you want to do in there. And that is our fun fold card. So let's see what it looks lo like again on the stand because that's the whole idea here is that this can be um, stood up for display. So that's what it looks like when it's on the little stand. Would you guys like to see some more cards, some alternates of this uh, fun fold? Because I had a little bit of fun with this. Um, honestly, I I could have kept going very easily. I ran out of time. Uh, literally, I was crafting right up to when the video started here. Um, and, and that's why I, I can't start too early because I will literally make 100 cards and then I have to do tutorials for all those. <laughs> I'll lose my mind. So um, this version is with the um, Texture Chic suite of products and that's a season of chic bundle this one i went with a seashell theme however you could very easily um, instead of the seashell you could do there are flowers in this set and i had um i had some bits oh well that's not what i wanted but i guess that kind of shows here's a random snowflake there are snowflakes, there are flowers, there are leaves. So you could, um, this one's actually gold foil, but you could make, who else loves a pink Christmas card? I love a good pink Christmas card. So you could change this to a Christmas sentiment and you could use the snowflakes to decorate it. 
Again, this one I used the seashells, but we also have flowers in this set, so you could uh, customize it depending on who it's going to. The paper in the suite, the uh, texture chic paper, is absolutely gorgeous. So when you're shopping tomorrow and uh, picking up some things with that free shipping deal, uh, this is a great one to add to your stash because it is so elegant. Um, and then back here, this is the vintage gold foil um, that I cut those out of. And so, uh, oh, that was, <laughs> I was like, oh, did I miss a question, Mary Laughing? But, but that was a silly question that whether you wanted to see more options, right? <laughs> So, um, so the inside of this one, it opens up like this. I really like this pattern of paper. Can you tell? But I did use a different one on the inside and then added a few more uh, seashells from the set uh, to go on the inside of the card and left room for the sentiment. So that one is a texture chic version. Let's pop this up and see what that looks like on display. Beautiful. They can also widen it out a little bit based on, on uh, bending it. You can add it a sentiment here if you wish. Totally up to you. And then on this one, I did have some, um, I love some sparkle <laughs> for my cards. The gold, gold does a lot, but I added some embellishments to that as well. So that's one of our alternates. Let's keep going, shall we? If you've been watching my videos lately, um, you'll know that I've been having a lot of fun with the uh, True Beauty bundle and the uh, uh, Wash uh, Wash and Beauty um, Designer Series paper. So I just had to do a version <laughs> with that gorgeous paper because uh, this card really shows off your beautiful designer papers. So this one I had a little extra fun with on the inside. So we've got our, our flower and sentiment on the front. This is the designer paper. And then when you open it up inside, I put a trellis, oops, and I crumpled it when I closed it. There we go. Um, I put a trellis on the inside of the card and have some more flowers climbing up that. So if you really want a wow uh, birthday card, this one is just a great way to go, right? So I'm going to go ahead and, and let's see what this looks like on their little display stand here. So the recipient can open that up and display it. And how gorgeous is that? It's kind of a way of having a really big card when it's opened up, but it fits in a normal envelope uh, for mailing. So it's kind of the best of both worlds and it gives you a lot of decorating opportunities, right? So this one we've got, um, I went with the pink paper in here. You, oops, sorry, you can't see that because I didn't flip it down. There we go. I went with the pink paper on the inside here and uh, I went with the blue pattern, the balmy blue on the outside. Of course, you could change that up and do whatever you want there. I put a floral paper here. Lots of options with this pretty a Wash and Beauty designer series paper. Again, you can see that I used the, actually, um, I think I used Stylish Shapes maybe on all these cards. This was Stylish Shapes here. I'm telling you, I love these dice. Also Stylish Shapes, also Stylish Shapes. So lots of opportunities. When you're decorating that inside uh, panel, you do want to make sure that it's not going to extend beyond this piece. That's, uh, you know, kind of one of your limitations. Or if it does extend, make sure it's cute, right? <laughs> and just, it's, then you can just pretend it's part of the design. Okay, so now we're going to get into a little sneak peeks. Who wants to see a sneak peek of some things that are coming next month? So next month, we have the July through December mini catalog is starting. And we have um, a celebration um, that is going to take place in July and August, those two months only. So this uh, is a paper. It's actually a paper and a matching stamp set that you can earn for free next month with your order. And so I wanted to show that it is called Wonderful World is the name of the stamp set and the paper. And it is gorgeous. So it was just perfect for this card layout. I do have some embellishments on here. I just added them to some of the flower centers. Um, you know, you could do them to every flower or you could do them not at all. It's totally up to you on how you want to do that. And then the card opens up like this. 
and I have some more decorations inside. This is that gorgeous stamp set, and it is so cool, you guys. I'm going to show you this piece here. Um, it was made so that it, I just stamped this in one ink, obviously, and it's stippled, so it has built-in lights and darks. It is so cool. Um, and so that is the the one of the other uh, alternate versions that will be in the tutorial and step-by-step -step instructions on how I made that version. And that's coming in celebration. So, and then I've got one more. This one is um, another sneak peek. This is straight out of the um, July through December mini catalog, one of the product suites in that catalog. As I said, it's very warm here in Minnesota today. So this one is going to cool us all down. So get ready for a little coolness coming your way because we are all about the snowflakes and the gnomes on this card. The adorable uh, gnome set, which is called the Kindest Gnomes is the name of the bundle. And I believe it's Storybook Gnomes is the, the suite of products. Um, and this one I I took a little creative license and I took our fun fold and I added to it. So again, this will be part of the tutorial bundle step-by-step -step on how to make this card. We've got our fun snowflake paper back here and the embossing uh, snowflakes there on the front. And then when the card opens up, it opens up like that, but I added an extra panel. So it opens up again and we've got our little gnome home here and I've got another embossed panel. And then I added a little uh, gnome lady. <laughs> gnome lady, is that what you say? Um, on the inside of the card with the greeting here. So let's see what that one looks like. This is kind of a extra special extended version of this fold that gives you even more uh, decoration opportunities. So the person displaying it can display it fully open like that or they can tuck this one back behind the front and just have the snowflakes showing and have it display like that. It's up to them. Now you absolutely, with this one, let me just um, grab some options here because there are definitely some options you could do with this on how you decorate it. So instead of adding your sentiment, let's bring this back down, here we go. Instead of adding your sentiment on this part, you could actually add your sentiment over here, or it could be over here on this front panel. Lots of options, and I'll have those options in the tutorial. Um, there are multiple gnomes on the paper, so you could, instead of hiding the lady gnome, you could have this little cutie guy, or you could put another gnome on the inside or over here, or even over here on this panel. So many options, right? And that paper is so cute. Um, there's also all of the, the this animal panel. So you could do that here instead. You could do that on the inside instead. There are so many options with this fun fold, especially with this special, the special extended version of this fun fold that gives you more decorating possibilities. Sorry, I was a bit close there. So this one opens out like that. So that is our June fun fold. I am calling this for lack of a better name, and the fact that I wanted to tie it together with the, um, by the way, do you like his mittens, Judy, Judith? They're, they're, um, yeah, I thought those were fun. <laughs> um, so this particular fold, where was I going with that? I get distracted myself with the mittens. Um, I don't remember now. Anyway, um, so these, this is our fold. Oh, yes, I was going to tell you what it's called. So I'm calling it the Vertical Freestanding uh, Fun Fold card. And uh, and yeah, the extended version adds um, extra fun, right? Extra decorating fun. So let's do a little recap here. So these will all be in the tutorial bundle. We have our cutie gnome version. We have our gorgeous, wonderful world version. Our beautiful a wash in beauty version with a built-in trellis. How cool is that? Perfect for a gardener, right? And if you wanted to do, you know, keep in mind if you don't want to use designer paper to do some of these panels, um, it is always an option to do embossing 
for the panel instead of designer paper, right? Because that is just another tool we have in our uh, repertoire. So, um, so we have our True Beauty version. Of course, we have our beautiful vintage gold here with the texture, um, texture chic <laughs> suite of products. And then the make and take version with the gorgeous Abigail Rose suite of products. Absolutely gorgeous uh, paper and um, products in this, uh, in all of these, really. They're just some of all my favorites. So thank you so much for letting me share with you today. One more time, if you want to be notified when the blog post goes live and the tutorial is available, I got to raise the camera so we can try to see these all. <laughs> they don't fit. Too many cards. There we go. So there are our five cards that will be part of our tutorial bundle. I'm going to, um, oh, thank you so much, Nancy. I'm going to put up a banner here. So once again, if you want to go in, oh, wait, it's covering up the gnome. <laughs> He's just too cute. Um, so if you want to go in and um, subscribe to my blog, then you will get notification as soon as the tutorial bundle is available. I'll get cracking on it right away, I promise. Um, let me just check and see if I missed any comments. Um, you are so welcome. Yeah, so many fun, fun things to play with, right? And then a quick reminder, I'm going to flip this over, um, quick reminder that tomorrow for one day only, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping on orders of 75 or more. So if you place an order tomorrow through in my online store for $75 or more, guess what? You're going to earn the packet for next month's Crafternoon. I'll be coming back with another great fun fold to share with you and lots of alternatives, but you'll also get that packet in the mail and you can make it right along with me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today in my craft room. I had fun. I, had, I really needed this creative escape on this hot, hot day. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. And uh, yes, uh, I agree with you, Judith. I'm going to say that to everybody. Keep hydrated. I just had a friend who um, was getting dizzy and, and flashes. And I said, did you drink any water? She's like, oh my gosh, I haven't drunk any water at all. So make sure you're hydrating. Drink lots of water. And uh have fun crafting, everyone. Thanks so much for being here with me, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.